in my first attempt with ms i got 1000 rank because i read lot but could not practice much questions so i think practicing more questions building basics that is obviously required would be good the speed sir bailey and sabiston that uh, all the charts and uh, images that only i could revise at the last moment best boon you are supporting uh, with speed sir one of the best thing that that is available on speed app to revise yeah your contents are really to the point so i was really impressed Doctor, I bring in all the wishes and greetings on behalf of uh, all the faculty members of Speed and team of Speed to Doctor. Thank Patrick you so much sir. for scoring AML rank number one. I think uh, minimal invasive surgery or minimal access surgery is only in AIMS, so yes, AML will be applicable. AML rank number one in uh, any SS November twenty twenty three session. Congratulations to you, yes. Doctor. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you to you and thank you your team, sir. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you, Doctor. Now, can you tell me your brief background, where you started, and what you have done till date? Yes, sir. Uh, sir, uh, I'm Doctor Prakash Anshu. I have done my uh, MBBS from Grand Government Medical College, Mumbai. Thereafter, I did my post graduation in SCB Government Medical College, Katak. Uh, thereafter, I'm working in Trauma Center, AIMS, Delhi. Um, sir, I also got uh, 196 rank in uh, NEET SS. And I already joined onco surgery before this rank came up. Uh, so, uh, uh. so, so this is my pleasure to see you again, sir. Uh, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so now, uh, now that the rank of INI has come, uh, take one or more two, two days to decide whether I should continue onco or uh, should join AIMS. But mostly, I would like to go for onco, sir. Doctor. Uh... See, if you are onco, then uh, minimally access surgery was your second option to give in uh, in ESS, something like that. Sir, basically, uh, I was working in trauma center AIMS, and I was not getting time to read actually. So I was just giving a try to check whether I can qualify or not. So uh, I put up, uh, I uh, I mean, uh, uh, minimal invasive in my option. Otherwise, I would have if got some time, I would have definitely chosen onco surgery to give the exam. So yes. uh, I mean, uh, I want to hear from you. Uh, yes sir. how you prepared for neat ss yes sir. that and, was actually uh, and uh, the one month of uh, gap uh, yes, between uh, neat ss and ini ss yes, during that time what did you do I mean uh, can you just share the transformation from uh, neat to ini ss and to rank number 1 in minimal access uh, sir rank number 1 was as i say it was like uh, by god's gift i mean god's <laughs> grace yeah okay. <laughs> but yes Uh, i was basically focused on neat ss sir uh, from my uh, prep, all the preparation i was doing for neat ss after ini after the neat ss i was working here in trauma uh, and i was looking for what can uh, what resources can be used to prepare for minimally access which i did not get somehow no, no none of the coaching platform nor anything is available on the so basically i got to talk to a senior in and he was telling that they pe- the questions are coming from Sebastian, as well as from the uh, Sages manual, I tried to read Sages, but somehow due to lack of time, I could not. So my focus was basically out of eighty questions. He told me around fifty to sixty questions will be from Bailey. So my focus was just to revise whatever I have already read for NEET SS. So my no, focus tell was... me actually how many questions were of our eighty? Sir, to be very frank, sir, experience. I. Hi, in my in my experience for this year paper, sir, more than fifty questions were from Bailey and Sebastian. and my i left around uh, uh, four or five questions uh, which were purely laparoscopic questions and robotic questions which i i was not at all aware of otherwise my focus was very clear to get through the question, at least 40 questions i had to solve which i could easily get through the bailey and sebastian part which i was already reading for neat so there is nothing as a hard and fast that uh, alag se kuch padhna padega you know, for uh, this uh, minimal in the access surgery So they definitely was... ask questions from uh, laparoscopy, but uh, that could be easily left, left because you could cover that from uh, neat. Part. So how 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 was your preparation on Bailey twenty third edition, Sabastian twenty first edition? Uh, sir, uh, speed uh, speed, sir Bailey and Sabastian that uh, all the charts and uh, images that only I could revise at the last moment only that I could do. So the tables and uh, images. Yes, definitely, sir. That is the ah, one of the best boon you are supporting uh, with speed, sir. Speed. <laughs> uh, <laughs> one of the best thing that that is available on speed app to revise, yeah. And uh, so you mean to say that this MCH minimal access surgery was your extension of your neat SS preparation and revision? Eh, yeah, sir. To I told extent. you absolutely, sir. Because uh, I was absolutely not getting any time in trauma center. i would personally say don't go into trauma center if you want to prepare for any competitive exam otherwise it's a very good place to work so it was just an extension of my need preparation sir nothing extra i could read here 
So, did you watch all the videos of Bailey and uh, Subista Twenty First Edition? Uh, during no, no, sir. No, could not finish all, but I read all the PDFs, sir. The things okay. which I could not cover in video, I read the PDFs definitely. So, where what was that uh, portions or uh, were relevant uh, to the exams? Yes, sir. I think uh, I would give such small example. They are asking very uh, basic questions like what suture is good for uh, abdomen closure. which is basically uh, general surgery question from bailey so these type of questions a lot of questions were like uh, directly from bailey or maybe conceptual based from bailey so it's very helpful yeah i would uh, say that for trauma surgery entrance exam in ini and for minimally access surgery extra things is not required much uh, for trauma bit of atls and for minimally access totally uh, some some part of sages would be good otherwise bailey based preparation and sabistin based preparation is enough for both the branches so you gave around some uh, 75 questions uh, 70 uh, uh, sir 80 out i left sir uh, four questions i left sir that was purely something laparoscopic which i had not heard of anything so your decision be had to uh, come uh, for your oncology and uh, choosing between minimal access uh, i am more sure of onco surgery so this was just to test myself whether i can uh, crack it or not so so uh, i mean being a rank 1 and if you are not picking up the seat will the institute <laughs> be little disappointed that you are not yes <laughs> sir i have a huge respect for aims but that's just the choice of my branch otherwise uh, it's a wonderful uh, institute obviously correct correct yes, very sir. true now yes, uh, now what is uh, your message see one thing which i could uh, observe uh, Uh, in this interview, I mean, I mean, I yes, have sir. I have taken a lot of interviews. I mean, I, yes, sir. I would have done almost close to four thousand five hundred plus interviews. Yes, sir. This in, every interview is different. I mean, talking to everyone as an experience. Yes, sir. Yeah, I mean, you are kind of a very seasoned and a matured uh, kind of a, a preparation, and also very balanced, and also Thank you, you so take much, things sir. it comes as it is. So because this is very very important for competitive entrance examination. Yes, sir. Uh, Thank so you so much. This is a time of preparation and uh, uh, working on that day, and both yes, you are able to take with the balance. I think people should learn this from you, and uh, you, even having because at times what happens is, yes, sir. Uh, people will have something in their hand, but something else will also look attractive, which is which is also an achievement of one. So in yes, order sir. to accomplish uh, the popular popular ones. Yes, sir, compromise yes, sir. on one who want to like and to go on this is also there. I mean, it is. Ah, uh-huh, happens, sir. But that's a very human tendency, sir. That is not to be uh, questioned or everybody has their different opinion. But I uh-huh. think uh, I was sorted that I have to go for Ongo. So I mean, that's what because at the end of the day, uh, I mean, one should always do what they like. Uh, I mean, internally. I mean, yes, only sir. then the comfort level will always be there uh, as we work along with that speciality. definitely sir so i once again congratulate actually you. my my parents and my friends are like you cannot leave aims but uh, <laughs> uh, somehow i ha- and my parents are not from medical background so i am not able to explain them how to i mean how a mch degree in onco would uh, be better for me than M- M- ms mch in uh, ms but somehow they will comply what i would like to do maybe <laughs> <laughs> yeah Uh, very very nice talking now to you and what is the message that you want to give to uh, your juniors or uh, friends who are preparing for an mch as a super specialty mch as in which super specialty sir i mean any, any super specialty because I mean uh, I mean as a super specialty uh, yes, and uh, you want to next you can add on uh, about onco and minimal access oh. okay sir so basically if uh, we uh, focus should be very clear i think uh, whether you actually want to go for neat or you want to take try in uh, and uh, i and i because the study pattern is very different for both uh, i would say second year would be a good uh, time to start for ms people uh, to start b- building their basics uh, and uh, uh, more of theory is not exam rather than more of practice also said in my last interview also uh, in my first attempt with ms i got 1000 rank because i read lot but could not practice much questions this year only i was reading your pdfs and practicing questions so this year was really fruitful for me so i think practicing more questions building basics that is obviously required would be good and again if you want to uh, prepare for neat ss and the pattern is of that way you can obviously apply for aims 
trauma surgery as well as because i have given both the exams trauma surgery i am working as a sr i qualified that exam also so both uh, i and i uh, i mean trauma surgery and uh, minimally access surgery are basically extension of neat preparation for onco euro definitely i am not prepared that way so i cannot comment fully on that but otherwise neat preparation and these two branches would can go uh, simultaneously time to thank and whom all you want to thank they have been part of your uh, i would uh, sir definitely like to thank you first because sir the way you are teaching and obviously i could not watch all the videos but i was really impressed the way you are so calm and composed and your contents are really to the point so i was really impressed thank you so much <laughs> <laughs> because uh, we can't waste uh, uh, someone's time which is very precious and yes, sir, to yes, the sir. point for their requirement definitely one request i would like to make sir uh you can uh, because minimally access surgery sir uh, people are not very much aware of it so i would like and no, none of the coaching platforms i would not name everybody but uh, obviously all the market platforms are not uh, giving any specific guidance for that nobody is aware what to do for that so i would like you to please uh, start this sure. because it's a very sure. upcoming good branch sir sure sure definitely your input is taken and will be implemented thank you so much and uh, once again i wish you all the best to have thank a you, great career ahead uh I mean I mean you have already said you want to oncology but whatever might evolve also can evolve whatever it is I mean yes, as sir. as a specialty what are you going to do wish you all the best and advance congratulations to you doctor thank you sir thank namaste you. sir thank you namaste. thank you